Hey, what's up, Boneheads? We are back with another quarantine special Bonehead recipe. And I had to dig in the freezer for this one. I'm not going to lie. I was sitting around like we've got a bunch of wild game. We've got a bunch of waterfowl, things like that, sitting in the freezer. Um, didn't really feel like going to the grocery store and battling all the chaos. So I'm like, what can I make? What can we do to, to film an episode here? And so I started digging around and I found something pretty interesting. Um, my cousin actually hooked me up with this a couple months ago. Um, or actually just here last month, it was in March, um, but he had some ground up antelope, the old speed go, as they might say. So we are gonna cook up some antelope today. I'm gonna do antelope sliders three ways. So the first slider is gonna be kind of your sweet and spicy combination. I'm gonna use a little bit of jalapeno seasoning, some red pepper flakes. Um, I'm gonna cook that in the cast iron. All three sliders are gonna be cooked in the cast iron skillet. That's gonna have bacon grease and some onions in there. Um, but that first patty is going to have a little bit of that sweet and spicy. I'm going to finish it with a little honey drizzle. And then when we put it on the bun, we're actually going to go jalapeno jelly and then creamy peanut butter. So we're going to try something new. The second, second uh, slider is going to be what I would call more of your, your cowboy version. Um, we're going to go with some beef rub that I would typically use on the smoker. So in this case, I'm going to use some meat church holy cow. I'm going to stick with that because it's got good beef flavors. I'm going to put a little butter, a little Worcestershire sauce. And then we're just going to finish that with some grilled onions and uh, some barbecue sauce, a little jalapeno cheese or jalapeno habanero cheese melted on top of that slider. All of these are going to have toasted buns, obviously. And then the third one's what I'm just going to call your American slider. So we're just going to fix this thing up with a, a couple different ingredients. I'll get it all here on camera. We're going to do it the same way in the cast iron, but we're going to finish that one off with your standard spicy pickles, jalapeno mustard, and some ketchup. So we're gonna have three different sliders to try here. I've never made this. So I've never made antelope into a slider or anything like that. The only other time I've used it is with like a hamburger helper mix. So you couldn't even hardly taste it. So this could bomb or it could be great. Also, most important ingredient, bacon. I've got bacon going right now. So on two of these, or maybe I'll, who doesn't like bacon? Um, on two of these, we are for sure gonna use some bacon. So I'll also get a little bit of that. So stay tuned, I'm gonna mix these different. I'm also gonna include the recipes as we go through the video as well as in the description so you can keep up. Um, but yeah, let's try it and pray that it doesn't crash and burn. All right, so I went ahead and I took our pound of antelope and broke it into three different, um, three different containers. I kind of balled them up to make sure we had the right size. I think they're all about a third of the pound, but I went ahead and flattened them out so we can doctor these things up and just mix them up. So I'm starting on here um, with some hot spicy jalapeno seasoning. Um, I'm going to hit that first. Again, this is our first burger. I'm going to call this our peanut butter burger. Um, I'm going to call that our peanut butter burger. So going with some jalapeno seasoning, little red pepper flakes. What I'm hoping is that you just get two different flavors from that. You get that sweet and that spicy. Um, so we've got that in there. That, I have no idea. If I should put honey in this yet, yeah, I'm not gonna. I think it'll, I think putting honey in that um, would maybe it caramelize it or it would burn a little bit too fast. So I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna start with those. So just mostly the jalapeno season, that red pepper flakes. Our next one is what I'm going with our cowboy burger or our cowboy slider. And again, I'm just hitting that with some uh, meat church, holy cow rub. This stuff's good. So if you, if you need anything, any, if you need a good seasoning for like a steak, um, or anything beefy, brisket, stuff like that. This stuff is really good. So I'm gonna mix that in there. And then over on our American burger, I'm gonna start with a little bit of jalapeno mustard. It's really not that, that spicy. A little bit of mustard, come back with some ketchup on there. And then if I was just mixing ingredients, I would go more like garlic powder, um, salt, pepper, that kind of stuff. Otherwise, just using all-purpose all-purpose seasoning. Misty's, oh, this stuff's my go-to. I love this stuff. So our American burger is gonna get a nice coating of Misty's. Misty's. And I'm just gonna mix all this up and then I'm probably gonna coat the sliders again with the seasoning on the outside um, before it goes. And then Worcestershire sauce. Who doesn't like that? In fact, I'm gonna hit that a little bit here. I'm also gonna hit a little bit on that cowboy slider too. So both of those. All right, so I'm gonna mix these up, kind of season them, and then I'm gonna get them on a plate. That plate's gonna go in the freezer for about 15 minutes because it hardens those patties up so they stick together, especially if you're gonna grill them on the grill grates. Being in the cast iron, it's not as big of a concern. 
While that's going, I'm gonna get some bacon in the oven that we're gonna doctor up. Um, so I'll video that. And then I'm gonna get our cast iron going. So when we pull those burger patties out, they're ready to go right on the cast iron we can get to cooking. This makes me look fat. Okay. Yeah, I could probably, if, I was, if you're gonna do sliders with these, I would break it out into four. I think, I mean, these are these are good sized burgers. This is what I would eat if I was gonna sit down and grill out and have a good burger. This is exactly what I would be eating as far as patty size. So, little adjustment. If you're gonna go the slider out, go with four. Notice how I always drive my hand because I wanna pick up the seasoning and then I just instinctively touch the meat again. Idiot. All right, hitting with a little bit of that Misty's. All right, so right here we have our peanut butter burger with the jalapeno seasoning on the outside. Here we've got the cowboy burger with that holy cow on the outside. And then over here, Misty's is on top of our all-American burger or our American burger. So I am going to take these now. These are going to go in the freezer for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, with about five minutes left, I'm going to get the bacon started. I'm going to get the cast iron going and uh, we'll pick it up there. All right, guys, so we've got our cast iron nice and hot. We've got some bacon cooking in there. We've got bacon in the oven as well as those grilled onions. So toss a little bacon and onions in here just to kind of get some flavor going, help it keep from sticking the bottom of the pan. You can use these onions and bacon. It's going to be delicious. But I'm just going to make way for our, uh, our meat. Nice little trick here to keep everything straight. I'm using one thing from each. So I'm going to make sure that my peanut butter burger is down here, my beef burger is up here. My all-american burgers right here so keep that in formation with your patties on here and it helps uh you from getting too confused so our peanut butter burger which you can tell it's got that nice jalapeno seasoning oh that's a hard patty too coming out of that freezer we've got there here is our cowboy burger oh yeah and then last but not least our american burger just like that all three are on now we're just going to cook in here i'm cooking at medium heat um keep an eye on it you don't want the bottom to burn so i've got a little butter i can throw in here as well as that bacon grease this bacon i'm not too worried about i'm gonna let this bacon cook all the way down let these onions cook in there probably toss in a little bit of butter i'm gonna i'm gonna flatten those bur burger patties a little bit try to let them go for a while before i turn them and hopefully everything starts to come together here towards the end so we'll see all right, I've added a little bit of butter to the cast iron skillet, but otherwise, we're getting ready to turn these. I only like to flip usually once, so I try to let it go as long as possible, but this smells incredible and it looks great. So again, down here is our peanut butter burger, up here is our cowboy burger, and over here on the bottom right is our American. Just finish flipping these and that's what you want. You want to, you want to get that, that little bit of crust on the outside. Everything's cooking. Again, we're shooting for medium on these. I like a little bit of red in mine. So I keep going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of butter. I'm going to put it on each one of these so it melts, kind of comes over on top of it. You can scoop some of these onions and bacon, put it on top and let that seasoning go in there. Again, we've got that three-way triangle. We've got that triangle right here to remind us which burger. All right, so our peanut butter burger is gonna come off first. Again, that nice creamy peanut butter on there. All right. There goes that. Take kind of that bacon and onions off. This is that honey drizzled bacon. That's gonna go on there just like that on our peanut butter burger. Next, it's gonna be on our cowboy burger. I'm gonna take a bunch of these grilled onions, set them there on that bun. Oh, look at that cowboy burger. Jalapeno 
and habanero cheese on there. Top that off with some delicious bacon. How do you go wrong with that? All right. Next we have that American burger. I like to use these spicy pickles. Mm, they're good. Hit that bottom. Ketchup. That American one's gonna be good. Tell you what, I'm gonna take even a, just a little bit of some onions out of that cast iron too. Put those on top. And then we're gonna finish it with just a little jalapeno mustard. Look at that. That looks incredible. All right, so next, our jalapeno jelly. Top of our bun. Cowboy burger. Got to cover it in that barbecue sauce. So I'm just going with a, a Memphis sweet and spicy here. Perfect. And our last bun. Oh, these are gonna be good. All right guys, moment of truth. These were pretty easy to put together. It smells amazing, but does it taste good? That's the next one. So we are gonna taste these. I'm gonna cut these in half. And I'm gonna start over here with the one I'm probably most curious about, and that's our peanut butter burger. So to recap this one, um, a little bit of spicy seasoning in the, oh, in the patty. We did some honey drizzled bacon that's on top of it. Jalapeno jelly on top, peanut butter on the bottom. Oh my goodness. Hope you can see that. So you've got that jelly there. You can see that bacon sticking out on the side. Nice thick patty. Again, we were shooting for sliders. These are a little big. And then peanut butter on the bottom. So let's see. That's really good. I started eating burgers here about a year or two ago with peanut butter and jelly on them at different restaurants. That's good, it's right up there. It's There's a little bit of kick. I'm getting more of it now that I'm talking. You could, yeah, there's a little bit there. I love that, that's great. Um, the meat's pretty good. I would maybe try to, to moisten the meat up a little bit. I don't know if that's just more butter in it or if it's a little bit more of the seasoning. Maybe antelope can just be a little bit dry, but. Um, that's really good. So first, first slider is a uh, is a home run. Wow, that's good. Got a little kick here. I'm gonna I'm gonna rinse the palate. Again, this is an amateur hour. We're professional, so we'll rinse the palate. All right, next. Ooh. Look at that. Got that barbecue sauce up there on the bacon. That cheese is melting down the side. Nice patty. Got grilled onions there on the bottom. I'm gonna take a big bite. It's gonna not look nice. I'm very professional, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna lean down. Wow. That's more what I think of when I think of a burger, because I grew up with barbecue sauce. I like barbecue sauce in my burger. That's great. You you could serve that right there to somebody. They would think it's a really lean hamburger. They would never guess that's antelope. The old speed goat will get you. That's great. You got that crunchy bacon. That savory sauce, that cheese, that, that habanero cheese is giving you a little bit of kick. Oh, that is, that is good. Wow. And I can't tell you which one's my favorite because they're both different in their own way. All right, let's go back here to the old Plain Jane, the old American burger. So ketchup, mustard, pickles, a little bit of onion. Look at there. Spicy pickles, got that American cheese off the top, a little bit of onion, ketchup. This is gonna be good. It's like a good hamburger. I feel like there should be charcoal smoke in the backyard, kids running around, guys playing bags or cornhole. Cause that's like a typical burger that would come right off the grill. That is excellent. Um, 
I'll tell you what, as far as the meat goes, the meat's great. I didn't know quite what to expect, never have an antelope. But again, that would pass for hamburger. That is great. I think you just doctor it up a little bit, you cook it right. These patties are cooked about medium well, so they're probably a little further than I would have liked. But you get all those fixings on there. Three different flavor profiles. I'll tell you what, the peanut butter and jelly, that's a home run. I like the cowboy burger, I always go to that. All three of those are great. So there you have it. As boneheads, we took a break from the waterfowl recipes, mixed it up with some speed goat sliders. Three ways in the cast iron skillet, and all three of these are home runs. So feel free to try any of these. Comment, let us know if you like them, how they turned out, your own little twist that you put on them. I have a little bit more antelope still in the freezer, so I'm sure that this meat is going to make a return recipe at some point down, down the road. But So thanks for turning into another bonehead recipe. We took a break from waterfowl and mixed it up with some speed goat. Hope everybody's staying safe during this quarantine right now. Make the most of it. Get in your freezer. See what you've got as far as wild game um, or from your previous hunts this last season. And try a new recipe or something like that. Comment on this recipe. Let us know if you try it, if you put your own twist on it. Um, or if you want to see something else, we've got a lot more coming. So give us some ideas. Thanks for taking the time to check this out. Hope you guys have a good one. Stay safe.